at the AES Punk here. I'm here at CES 2010. What is CES? CES is a consumer electronics show, of course. It's a gathering of industry insiders, exhibitors, and creators of all types of electronic devices, retail and inventory buyers, journalists, company CEOs, and other bigwigs. And oh yeah, there's geeks. Lots of geeks. Tech geeks, PC geeks, gaming geeks, AV geeks, you name it. It's the biggest electronic show in the world, and it's the chance for all companies, big and small, to announce and show off their new shiny gadgets. Just about all the major companies are here. You have Kodak, Microsoft, Intel, Panasonic, Sling, Sony, Motorola, and even companies I've never even heard of, like Samsung? Nokia? Kinet? Canon? Who, who let these companies in here? Yay, there's Woo! Home of the quick and exclusive deals of mostly garbage. How about Kobe? Chances are you've heard of them, but don't actually own anything that they make. And of course, the world famous ALS Corporation. Yes, Lou Gehrig's disease. Not the best name for an electronics company. It doesn't help that their logo is a furry chicken with ADD. CES is absolutely huge. It takes about three days to really walk through and see most of the stuff here. Well, I did a ton of walking here, so much so that my feet were killing me after the first day. Ah, uh, carpet. Besides the miles and miles you have to walk, you're like a rat, weaving your way through booth after booth with a hundred thousand other people. The worst part is, you have these inconsiderate slobs pulling their wheeled luggage behind them. The people just smashing into them, tripping over them. These people don't care. Try a backpack, try a briefcase, something. But luggage? What's so important that you have to constantly have all these things on you? Are you really that fond of the arm of the Vegas hooker you chopped up last night? With so many exhibits, you had companies trying whatever means necessary in order to get people to walk in and see what they had to offer. LG had this cool wall of TVs. Kodak had these interactive table PCs, kind of like how you'd see in that movie Minority Report. How about this screen of web pages, but as dozens and dozens of cubes you could manipulate? Waterfalls? Check. The Dark Knight displayed on the side of a van? Check. Scary pandas? Check. Looks like sexual harassment to you and me. Sexual harassment, panda. I was most impressed, however, with Dell's presentation. Simple, yet effective. But at the end of the day, the biggest draw that these companies were counting on in order to get you into their booths remained the same as it does at every other convention. The elusive female. Let's go through some of the varieties we saw here, shall we? You have your generic model, here's a team of them, who are paid to look pretty while they explain all the new products the company has to offer. You have models that are paid to help demonstrate new products. Molly, molly, molly. You have fake DJs. You have real DJs. She kicked ass, by the way. And while rarer, you do have scantily clad babes here as well. Including ones that are dancing. And who quickly get bored with it. Whoa! Alright, I'm getting off top. The real reason why we're here? The gizmos, the gadgets, the cool stuff. Some of the biggest items at this year's CES were LCD picture frames, very slim LCD TVs lit by LEDs. These babies will look brighter and save energy. Go Earth, go! 3D gaming and TV was all the rage at this year's CES. And already, the first 3D TVs are being released. The only downside is, of course, you need 3D glasses in order to enjoy it. 
There's even a consumer 3D camcorder already planned to hit the market. What garnered the most attention at CES were the plethora of different e-readers and media players that connect your PC to your TV. The biggest being the Boxy Box by D-Link. It allows you to easily stream all types of content from your PC onto your TV through a very intuitive and simple interface. The Boxy Box was voted by CES as the best of show. And why not? It's a great idea, it looks cool, and it's going to be relatively inexpensive at under $200. These are going to be in a lot of homes in the future. But maybe I'm just fawning all over this because the spokes girl is cute and looks like Allison. Oh, if I had the courage to talk to her. I don't. Now this intrigued me. A calculator. It automatically adds, subtracts, multiplies, divides numbers. This isn't technology. It's witchcraft. There's a bunch of new pocket digital camcorders coming out. The coolest being the Play Sport by Kodak. It's totally waterproof, so you can take it swimming, you can go skiing with it, whatever. Sony has their own pocket camcorder coming out as well, called the Bloggy. The Bloggy? They let some seven-year-old name their latest product? So these are the big dogs, but what about those lesser-known gadgets? One of the coolest things that may blow up in the future, you have these clear panels that act as speakers. Very unique. Ever wanted to be Dick Tracy? Hyundai is coming out with a cell phone watch. Finally, we have the technology to emulate an idea we originally saw 70 years ago. Not sure what this does, but it's called a phonograph. Hmm. Want to get rid of the germs on your keyboard? or you're afraid to use an airport bathroom? Try the UV light sanitizer. I can't wait to pwn hepatitis. Want to use your cell phone or play your DS in the post-apocalypse? Now you can with this solar and wind powered recharger. No electricity? No problem. Go ahead, prank called the last pizzeria on earth. Play Mario Kart in your DS against the only other person who's still alive that has one. He's probably living in Guam. And here's a plan. So we've seen some useful gadgets. What about those that are simply not? CPU power supplies that look like ammo boxes. Car mice? There's a market for that? Ooh, ooh, I always wanted my own sushi sign. Can you tell me how to get, how to get my own USB thumb drive with Cookie Monster on it? Here's a keyboard with its own computer built in as well as a small screen. Why would I want this instead of a laptop again? Ah, the latest Swiss Army knives. With USB drives? Finally! A tool that allows me to stab someone, uncork a champagne bottle, and view digital pictures of perverted pandas all at the same time! And what consumer electronics event would be complete without the greatest technological achievement of the last 30 years? I'm speaking, of course, of karaoke. Now this guy here became an internet sensation by singing lots of karaoke tunes, and very badly. He was the hit of CES 2010. But seriously, karaoke? I mean, you gotta be nuts to want to sing that crap in front of people. Especially here, in front of presidents and moguls of giant corporations? Who would do that? Oh, yeah. My soul is painted like the wings of butterflies. Fairy tales of yesterday will grow up and grow and die. I can fly. People think my hair is bad?